esse barco and good afternoon to everyone. We are about to start the funeral service of our dear sister Verona Setut. I would like to ask all the family members to join at the back as I call on our dear sister Diana Emmanuel with the professional processional sorry song. Shall we all stand at this time? Your 
love made me make it through Oh, I owe so much to you You were right there for me One more time, I say pleasant good morning, and we extend our condolences to the family. We all are family of the so I ask that the Lord grant strength to the family. At this time, our pastor is not here yet to open in prayer. I call on our dear Deacon Cole to open us in a word of prayer. Praise God. Great God and Father, creator and maker of the universe, the God who dictates whom to live and die. We come before you this afternoon with grateful and joyful hearts. For you say in your word that in all things we should give thanks. And so God, we give thanks today for the life of our sister Verena Setut. We thank you, God, for 58 years of age. You grace her with upon this earth. We thank you, God, for loved ones, family and friends that have come here this afternoon to bid her farewell. Even now, God, we place the service into your hands and we pray your divine will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, brother. Amen. Praise God. At this time, we have the welcome remarks by Sister Martina Raphael Pouillon. Sister Martina. Test one, two, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, we want to welcome all of you to this sad occasion, the occasion of Sister Verona which we would never believe today we would be sitting here and being so so sad but it is a reminder to all of us that we are not here forever and one of these days our name will be called and so i want to encourage all of you for every funeral service it is an opportunity that each and every one of us should take a good look of ourselves because today we could see each other and tomorrow we are gone 
And so we trust that the Lord will help you, especially the family, the immediate family, that the Lord will help you to bring closure to the death of your loved ones. May God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Joseph. We are about to do our worship. I ask everyone to stand as we do worship unto God. I would just want to encourage us as we sing, let us not just focus on our dear sister that has passed away, but let us focus on ourselves and also God that we have breath, we have life. Let us be thankful and grateful unto the Lord right now. Praise the name of the Lord as I lead into this song. You are my strength. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
just worship him with the song as the words but we give glory and honor unto his name hallelujah bless the name of the lord glory to god hallelujah for he's a great god Amen. he's great and our next election is you are great hallelujah bless the name of jesus hallelujah Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We exalt your name. You are great, yes, you are. Holy one. Walked upon the sea, raised the dead. Just the mighty God. Everything we do about you is great. We take a knee about. You are great, yes, you are. Holy one. Walked upon the sea, raised the dead. Bless the name of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. In spite of what we are going through, we are serving a great God. He is a great God. Hallelujah. So we bless his name this afternoon. We give him glory this afternoon. Hallelujah. Because he's great. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We worship the name of the Lord as we do this, this other song. Peace when troubles come. We have been facing many trouble times and yet there is still many trouble times ahead of us. But I want to assure you, yes, we are mourning right now and it will take a little bit time for healing. But God is our peace today. Hallelujah. For he is our peace when trouble comes. And Jehovah knows everything. And he sees everything Hallelujah. even before anything happens. The Lord. Hallelujah. I will worship the Lord for he is worthy. I will lay down my sword, the Prince of Peace is his name. King of the flood, the Lord is mighty. The Lord can question
the Lord. He is my peace and he is your peace. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to the name of the Lord. Right now, I call on remain standing as I call on the reading by Rikela Raphael. Rikela, if you're there, you come up. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let not your heart be troubled. He believed in God, believed also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That's where I am. That he may be also. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. So we thank God for his word this afternoon. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We continue with a special rendition by Brother Colinius Raphael. Pleasant good afternoon to each and everyone. <sighs> I know that my sister wants me to be strong this afternoon. Uh, you know, one thing that will give me the strength that I really need this afternoon, to be honest with you guys, because that um, my sister got an opportunity that not many of us will get and the fact that i know that my sister is not lost this afternoon that has strengthened me a good bit that has given me a lot of strength even if you see me crying it's a little bit sad that she's gone but still it's tears of joy because i know that my sister is not lost this afternoon and that has strengthened me a lot and this afternoon i'm gonna do that song I was going to do it slow, but because of the strength that she has given me right now, I'm going to change it around because my sister was a joyful person. She liked to dance too. If you watch some videos that she sent for me, she always joking and dancing and laughing. And this afternoon, I urge you guys, you know what? I need some strength from you guys too this afternoon. I know you guys come to moon with me, but please, can you stand with me please for a little bit? Just stand with me please. Let me get some strength from the audience as well. My family, I need you guys. Yeah, yeah. To, to stand with me as well. All right, and we're gonna do this one on behalf of my sister. Yeah. If you can clap, you clap. If you can dance, you dance. Anything that you can do this afternoon will help me, okay? Hold on, hold on. All right. Oh, Lord. 
Sister Diana Emmanuel, hallelujah, with the eulogy. When the presence of the Lord is there, hallelujah, he gives us comfort. Praise God, hallelujah, bless the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, your word. Pastors, family, well-wishers, friends, brothers and sisters, I bid you a blessed afternoon. We are here today to honor our precious jewel. Yes, our precious jewel, Verena Setus. She was a very special woman who have touched our lives tremendously. I am Diana Emmanuel, niece of the deceased Verena Setus. Nothing could have prepared us for the impact of her sudden passing. But the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are questioned spirits. Let me begin by sharing Auntie Awon's last words to me. On the 10th of December, 2022, I read Brother Ferris's eulogy at the Borden Church. She called me later that day and she told me, Kimun Kimache Urojia. A lot of us know that she doesn't, she has a pronunciation problem. So she couldn't say eulogy, she said Uroji. Kimun Kimache Urojia. I told her, Mokimache Yantimwe. She told me, Mokwe Sete Fami Mun Kikamache Uroji Bayo. I told her, Fami Adimwe Sapumache Yantimwe, Momache Valley. 
She told me, Ufa, Bojo, Ebura, Gia. And that's the only reason I'm standing here attempting to do one for her, you know, because she told me that days before she died. I could not have seen that coming, because she was... I... At the time, I was just completely on her way that that would be our last conversation. So it saddens me, but we are here to celebrate the life of a cherished mother, grandmother, mother-in-law, sister, sister-in-law, aunt, cousin, and friend, Verena Setut. She was affectionately known as Awun, and to her family, Sese Awun and Auntie Awun. Heaven is one star brighter, but those of us who loved her will continue to live with the ache of her passing. Please note that this is like a fast forward version because I just couldn't sit too long to focus on writing it. Verena said it was born on the 24th of April, 1964. Two parents, Feliciana Setut, yes, she was Setut at the time, who was later known as Feliciana Raphael and Edison Joseph, both of Baden. She was not a healthy baby, as she was born with sickle cell anemia, which is a disease that affects the shape of the red blood cells, which carry oxygen to all parts of the body. As a result of her illness, Verena was constantly in pain and her development was severely affected. She spent her first few years crawling and there were people who used to call her T-shirt because she was always crawling around like a cat. She didn't walk until she was three years old. As her journey continued, my grandmother, which was Verona's mother, realized that she does not know what to do with this child. Verona spoke her mind, regardless of what it was. When most people would be thinking, should I say this? And Tiawan would just say it out loud, not having any second thoughts. I can vividly remember one time when Auntie Awan went to town and she got into an argument with a lady at SNS. It ended with the woman saying to her, you better leave me alone because I am already angry. So Auntie Awan responded, oh hungry? Ebe so hungry, manger moi I can never forget that one. Auntie Awan had a lifetime of suffering because of her sickle cell disease. Growing up as a child, I can remember her always being taken to the hospital as she was in so much pain. Through her own suffering, Awan became more sensitive to the suffering of others and always went to visit people when they were sick. I can remember Auntie Awan being different from the other women around me. She would be riding bicycles, playing cricket in the road, driving vehicles, playing cards, as well as dominoes, and doing all the things that young boys would do. On the 4th of November, 1986, my auntie gave birth to her first daughter, Joycelyn Setut, at the age of 22 years old. Joycelyn was her pride and joy. Soon after, she had another daughter, Vanya Setut, and she loved both her daughters very much. Vanya was not with us very long, as her body could not withstand the impacts of the sickle cell disease. My auntie was left with one child, Joycelyn, and she spoiled Joycelyn until the day she died. When Joycelyn gave my aunt grandchildren, I witnessed spoiling at a higher level. Everything she had was for them. Everyone who knew Verona knows how much she loved her grandchildren, her daughter, and her son-in-law, Marcus. My auntie was a definition of an independent woman. She and her best friend, Julie, always used to work the land together. These two were inseparable. Many times, her best friend would be the one who took her to the hospital. Auntie Owen was a provider, and I can recall many times she assisted my mother while taking care of us. I can remember Auntie Awan and my stepfather always getting into an argument 
because she was not pleased with something my stepfather said or did. Verena knew that her illness was with her blood and she would always pay particular attention to consuming foods which nourish her blood. I believe this was one reason why Auntie Awun surpassed the life expectancy for persons with sickle cell disease. Auntie Awun loved life. She loved the life she had. She decided to give her life to Christ after she had a major surgery. She said that if God helped her make it through, then she will live her life for Christ. But let me tell you all, Auntie Awun gave her life to Christ, but she would still tell it like she sees it. My aunt and her uncle were in an argument and she told him that he is not his, uh, he is not her uncle, but she said it in Creole. After many years of being alone, Auntie Awan finally met someone she wanted to share her life with. I recall my auntie told me that she's getting married in April. I told her, I told her that I'm going to school now and I won't be able to spend much on her wedding. I asked her to wait. And she said to me, no shaman, Namaya April. My aunt's final days were filled with pain and suffering. And she knew that only God could help her. She called on him consistently to have mercy and compassion on her and to deliver her. She was not delivered in the way we all hoped, but she's no longer suffering. God called Auntie Awan home on Wednesday, the 14th of December, 2022, at 58 years old, after three days of intense suffering. Although we miss her, we celebrate with gratitude her long and remarkable life. We cannot know for certain how long we have here. We cannot foresee the trials and misfortunes that will test us along the way. We cannot know what God's plan for us is. What we can do is to live our lives as best as we can, with purpose, with love, and with joy. And Tiawan, you will surely be missed. You are gone in the flesh, but your spirit will always live with us. Your precious memories will live in our hearts. We love you and we'll miss you dearly. Rest in perfect peace. You have said it, and that's what it is. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, I call on Jasmine James with the tribute. Good afternoon to all. My daughter wanted to do this one, but unfortunately she's not strong enough. The moment that you left me, my hands split in two. One side filled with memories, the other side died with you. I often lay awake at night when the world is fast asleep and take a walk down memory lane with tears upon my cheek. Remembering you is easy, I do it every day, but missing you is a heartache that never goes away. I hold you tightly within my heart, and there you will remain. You see life has gone on without you, but will never be the same. We have another tribute by Marcus George. You're welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it is indeed a privilege today um, to show my last respect to a friend, a mother in law, and a mother. Um, it started, um, I can't recall when, 
about 11 years ago when I met um, my wife today, Joyce Lynn George. I was doing something by my nephew, um, Mr. Shane, he's in the house. And you know, we like Domino and my wife, she had a bath and she asked me to come and visit. But at my visitation, I saw um, my wife's mother, which I did not introduce myself to her at the time, and her sister. Um, her favorite, I wouldn't say her favorite sister, but they were so, so close. Sis. And you know, I was just there sitting, I mean, studying everybody, but at the same time, I'm listening. And they didn't know that my ears was sharp. And I heard, they said, Could you think I like no let sir? And you know, in my heart, I'm saying, Power you call. You can't wear some numbers, sir. You can't wear some numbers. You can't wear some numbers. You can't wear some numbers. Really and truly, um, people, I try to put pen on paper to make, um, to come and share that. But really, I couldn't do it. And I said to myself, I don't want to put that on paper because it's coming from my heart. It's truly coming from my heart. I want, when we really get to know each other, trust me, they have something saying, buy moon fly, pat tank aviv. That doesn't mean that you have to bring a bouquet of flowers every month, every birthday. But try to make that person happy as much as you can. I will, do some, I will do anything to make her laugh. I will do anything to make her happy. I cannot recall, honestly speaking, I cannot recall when we had a bad moment or sad time. Amen. I cannot recall. That's it. We good. We good. Our own, she loves her family. And one thing she has said, I have five families, five people in my family. Marcus, Joycelyn, Jasmine, Kiran, and Brielle. And she will say, the others are my relatives. And really and truly, I started seeing myself as a son. You are a son. A real son. That's right. I would say to myself, okay, I lose a mother. I lose my mother a long time ago. But yet I have a good mother. I have a real mother. Amen. She even spoiled me. That's right. He got him with. Yes. When I would go um, at our or do something for her, before I go home, Marcus, um, uni si, uni sa, uni this, uni that, I will know her right. But what's up, I say my life? I will okay, I pray by say my life, but know her right. He pattern. Until I got a custom in that. Anytime I come there and I have to do something before I leave, I will finish like a fouille. I will back up like a fouille. I will say, where is she? I tell them, I got you. I mean, we were so close. We were so close. We had a great time. We had a great time. The only little regret, I wouldn't say regret because I mean, God is doing his work. We cannot regret of what God did. But I worked so hard. She thought that, you know, we were trying to build downstairs for my wife's um, business place. And we were trying to surprise her. You know, renovating, putting everything nice so she would come home, you know, for Christmas. And uh, once she said, she made a video call with my wife, just for her to see exactly what's happening around. But my wife, she went outside. She really wanted to see. Had we known, we would have allowed her to see. But it was a surprise. surprise. And you know, she, 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 she falls sick. And I've been uh, from work, 
reaching home about six o'clock, waking up to midnight, one o'clock in the morning, waking up at, at four, four forty to go back to work. Even until the last time, I, I, my wife was sleep, sleeping about three o'clock in the morning, I'm still working. Because we're expecting to surprise our own. But the Lord knew better. Amen. The Lord knew better. And the best thing about it, Sis was the one who witnessed. She really said to us, you know what happened? I make sure I, I, I allow her to repent. And that was the greatest thing. Everybody knew that Awun had liked her domino. We had a great time in domino. Whenever she, she come there, ah, Bailey Ivy. Bailey Ivy, you see me on And I remember the last time we played domino, it was she and her daughter. They had already given me licks. But sorry, I won't. I won't have to go back to the So we fair and square. People, let me just say that to you once again. When you have your family, your friend, give them the best you can. Amen. Appreciate them how you can. Amen. We have our certain attitude and we have our um, personalities. But still respect the person, regardless of the personality. Because when they pass away and you didn't do what you had to do, you're gonna miss them for a long time. So right now there, I want to give my wife strength, the family strength. And I myself, honestly, I have a little headache. I have a little headache because my last daughter, my daughter, she had been crying from Rambali to her. And she told me that she, she doesn't want to come to the church, she wants to go home. So, I mean, I have a lot of Karen. I know we have a lot of Karen, but uh, let me just say, I, I, I encourage everybody and be strengthened in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Marcus. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have said it from your heart. And thank God that you did enjoy your time with your mother and your mother-in-law. Right now I call on the daughter of the deceased, Joycelyn Judge, with a special rendition. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
may be wondering, this is God's doing. She pour out her soul in worship. This is God's work. Praise the name of Jesus. You may be wondering. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. God is good. Right at this time, I call on our dear pastor, John Joseph. Shall we all stand as I welcome our dear pastor in the house? Put your hands together for pastor John Joseph. Praise the name of the Lord. Just stand with me, please. I normally don't do that. All those who have breath, if you can, stand. Just raise your hands wherever you are. And let's just give God thanks here. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the privilege of life, 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 life. We thank you for the breath of life. We thank you for everyone here who are alive and well. We give you glory and praise. All the honor and power, dominion, belongeth to you, Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever and ever. Thank you, my Father. We bless your name, great King of heaven. Praise be unto God. Those who are standing, if you have a Bible, just turn with me to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 14. And verse 12 to 14. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandment of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth, ye save the spirit, that they may rest from the labor, and the works do follow them. And the works do follow them. Lord, take these words to our hearts and may you encourage the family and for those who do not know thee as Lord and Savior, speak to and let your spirit take full charge we ask in Jesus name and everybody say amen. amen. Have your seat please. Blessed are they who die in the Lord who die in the Lord. I want to take this time out to welcome and recognize Pastor Benedict my friend we are happy to have you here and by the way this is one of your member and for other pastors that might be among us that I cannot see we all are in this thing together I also want to take the opportunity now on behalf of the church that I pastor and my immediate family, I want to extend my deepest condolences to the family. Brother Raphael, Daddy Raphael, the family, they are very close. He's a family that is very close to me. I have one son who's a member of this house and a daughter but from the time i came from south i believe it was sister martina who introduced me to her family and i like wilding people at one time when i came i used to call the place Bife. when i came wilding had this fire i used to like to go there but let me tell you today is a different picture and I'm happy that I am here to say a few words to my dear sister Awun. And I love to do Christian funerals. Somebody say amen. amen. The best thing, it doesn't matter how you live your life. It doesn't matter the beginning. But make sure you end it well. And by the way, with all good reports, Awun end her journey well. Put your hands together. Now I ask you to clap, clap, this is what we need. I also, Sister Joycelyn, there is special strength God has given to you. Do not worry. You will do everything that you have to do. Because the Lord is with thee and her husband also, Brother Marcus. 
Sister Jolson was the member of this house and Brother Marcus also playing the music. So we are not strangers. We are one. And by the way, one thing I love with the Raphael family, they are always together. Always to... Now you should clap your hand for yourself. That doesn't mean little things might not come. But you ride over it. Blessed. The blessedness of dying in the Lord. I want to die in the... Wow. Is death the last sleep? No. It is the final awakening. Yeah? And I love the many things that were said about our own. Yes? By the way, Brother Marcus, you have the daughter because of Domino. It's Domino that gets you the wife. Now, I never, I'm not that good in Domino, but it seems that I'll have to start playing Domino. It's not to say I want another wife. I have my wife and I'm the husband of one wife. But I realize the game can take you far. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. The word of God never polish death. Neither perfume it death. The Bible said as by one man sin entered the world and death by sin. So death passes upon all men for all have sin. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is the eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Christians should never be afraid of death, for death has no power over the believers. You didn't hear that? Death has no power over the believers. Somebody say amen. Yes, some of the members, the dear sister, and sometimes she, they have a special name calling me. And I don't know why. They call me, you know that too, John Do. That's how they call me. John Do. A sermon I preach, you know. And it would seem afterwards they all gave me that name. But blessed are those who die in the Lord. John the Revelation, the Revelator, he was there a while in a place called Patmos. They placed him there to die. God gave him the revelation of the end time. And what should happen? Um, as he write, here is the patient of the saints. Here are they that kept the commandment of God. Here are they that kept their faith in Jesus. Verse 13. And I heard a voice from heaven heaven four things point i want to share in this text with you number one the voice came from heaven everybody say heaven it did not came from earth men could not have written it paul could not have said it john could not have said it it came from heaven and if it came from heaven it have a certain truth because lies and error are found in man god is truth somebody say amen god the bible say is not a man that he should lie i heard the voice it came from heaven and said unto me write why should i write this thing is too important it need to be preserved by writing it need to be published yes you and i must hear the truth we must keep it as a record that the people of God must have to hear that who heard the truth will get access to it and be comforted by it what is the record the blessedness of all those who die in God blessed are the dead that die in the Lord from henceforth it came only, it did not only came from heaven, but it came only to those who die in the And in order to die in the Lord, you must first live in God or live for God. What did the Bible say? In him we live and move and have our... Hello? If 
you want to die in the Lord, you must first live in the Lord or for God. In other words, to die in the Lord, you must first live in him. People don't want to live for God. Oh yes, they don't want to serve the Lord. They live their life for pleasure. Live their life for the devil. Hello, by the way, the sister love life. Sister Awon, EME la vie, EME bon temps. She loved recreation. She would go and play games. Are you there with me? People believe that we are, listen, we are social beings also. There are times when you have to take your time and go and exercise and spend time with people. Are you there with me? She enjoy life to the fullest. But let me tell you something. When the door of mercy knock upon you, you have to say goodbye. Oh, glory be to God. When they die, they expect, listen carefully, some of them who love pleasure, when they die, they expect to be blessed. No. God said, it's only they who die in the Lord. Brothers and sisters, only those who die in God are the blessed. The word blessed here means happy. Hello. Our one is happy. And by the way, family members, as you cry, do not cry with people with no hope. Because one of these days, my sister, you will see your sister again. Come and clap your hand for that. We will all be able to recognize her. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. The Bible said to be absent of the body is to be present with the I don't mind what people say. I might walk with just one pants. It doesn't matter. I might have no money in my pocket. But one thing I had to publish I to everybody. Heaven must be my home. Are you there with me? Some people believe that they are made on this earth to live forever. And so they build beautiful houses. There is nothing wrong in that. Are you there with me? But the problem is when you begin to adore the things on this earth. Are you there with me? You must always realize in spite of your nice ride in spite of all what you have achieved you achieve one of these days you have to say goodbye to all of this thing and you have to appear before the judgment seat of Christ somebody say yes a lot of people they do so many things in darkness and think that they will be escaped are you there with me they would escape but let me tell you one of these days God will bring everything that has been done in darkness into light <laughs> glory be to Jesus you work have any somebody says you work have any yeah, the Bible said blessed or happy are those who die in the Lord yes our sister is happy it is time to celebrate and I'm happy when you came and sing yes right somehow you change the atmosphere somebody said change the atmosphere Hello, Christian Mav, les enfants, les mamans, comme ça, pièce. Tout le monde sad. No, sir. The believer's funeral have to be a joyful funeral. Somebody give God a high note of praise. That's a believer's funeral. Hello. There must be dancing. I saw some people were dancing. Even some of the members, you remember. She liked to shake herself. You come and shake with her. Are you there with me? It's a joyous occasion because after the body left the spirit, the soul, the angel came and carries the soul to heaven. She is in a better place. She is in the presence of God. She is there forever, giving God praise, honor, and glory. And if I could hear what she would say, don't cry for me. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. I heard the book of, book of Psalms 116.15 said, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. When a child of God is dying, it is precious in God's sight. He dispatched an angel to do what? To ensure that they receive the soul. When Moses was about to die, listen. Oh yes, Satan came near. He thought he could have snatched the soul of Moses. Are you there with me? But I come to tell you, when a believer is about to die. God dispatched an angel to carry this person individual home. And by the way, another thing, they die 
nice. They die a sweet death. Somebody say sweet. Are you there with me? God ensure that he perfume and everything that he's there with him. Oh yes, in the time of death. So precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. The Lord value the life of his children. Yes? The Lord watches over the dying bed, smoothing the pillows, sustain their heart, and receive their souls. Those who were redeemed with the precious blood of Christ are so dear to the Lord that death, even the death, is precious. Unlike the unbelievers, no pleasure. The Lord say, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked. By the way, my pastor are pies. Sao planté. Vive la vous bien. Even after you die, I won't say to bon madame. That's what the eulogy said. Am I not right? C'est engagé. Vous allez dire, vous ne pouvez jamais dire que vous êtes engagé. C'est ça qui est wrong et pire. Are you there with me? But they said the longest thing on a man is his name. Even in death, listen carefully, his name will continue. Glory be to God. In the, 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 concerning the wicked, there is no celebration in the death of the unbeliever. The Bible tells us the rich man and the beggar. Let me tell you, there was no celebration. One thing we must note between the rich man and the beggar, they live different lives. Life. They die differently. They go different places. Somebody say amen. Tout le monde croit que c'est un ciel qui est allé. Mais tant que nous avons un marché, un ciel, l'enfer, c'est ça. And by the way, bon Dieu pas voulu nos pièces aller l'enfer. Ain't you glad? He said that hell was prepared for the devil and his. But the affect no an election show. Let's move on. So there was a declaration afterwards. Save the spirit is the spirit that declare. What did the spirit declare? What is the declaration? The spirit declare that they will rest from their labor. They will rest from their through pain and from report sickle cell she was constantly in pain are you there with me and by the way God know what all of us can take and when our time come and we cannot take any other he graduated us are you there with me he said to Aaron, I will take you up that you will rest they find rest for their labor after you work hard, you need to be in a place of eternal rest. And by the way, the world, there are people, we are living in a restless world. There are people even in some parts of the Caribbean who never sleep. Are you there with me? They party all night. There is a place in Trinidad. There is no sleep for them. And St. Lucia gradually is coming just like this, especially up north. Are you there with me? But let me tell you, sometimes even we individually, we are restless but God has prepared rest for every believer somebody clap your hand she's at a place of rest I want is in a place of an eternal rest not just rest but eternal they shall find rest for the labor the hard work if God have to come to me now, although I'm working very hard, eh, and say, John, let's negotiate this thing. It's time for you to go. I say, Lord, give me another few years. I want to leave. I'll tell God that. Amen. How many of you want to go now? Raise your hands. Ah, how smart. 
No pièce pour vous aller. Are you there with me? But the Lord know when and the Lord know what time. He is the one who determine whom to leave and whom to die. He saw the pain of his daughter Awon for so long. She have been saying pain, pain, and I'm told when you have sickle cells, all your body pain you. Are you there with me? God say it is enough. Somebody say it is enough. God say I am taking you home to rest from all of your pain and your labor. Now she's in a place of no more headache, no more pain. Somebody clap your hand for her in the name of Jesus. She made it. Yes, from all report that we have. Are you there with me? She made it a place with no more sorrow, no more pain, no more tears to dim the eye. Are you there with me? And by the way, I'm not jealous of her because one of these days I I will join her. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Doesn't matter. You might not reach 80. You might not reach 70. But one of these days, your day is coming. As sure as the sunrise and sunset, your day is coming. Go by more. People don't want to hear about death. But hear the, the declaration from the spirit of the living God. They shall find rest for the labor. And not only that, the second declaration is saying, and the works do follow them. The what? Sow fair, sow planté. Hello? You brought nothing and you can go with nothing. Nothing. It doesn't matter so quiet. Clean you come. Come and clap your hand for that. Clean you come, clean you go. In your nom, you did tell my wish. He did lay more. If they omitted tout la joy, you didn't sink la bali. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Madam Nitin Yoti wisdom. It is yes, nay honor, nay honor. Wish Salah. Are you there with me? Le le avini put it more. Imo. Le madam na de ka fe tout a wangement. Are you there with me? Madam na kuma se fe a wangement pour la moa. Yes, même la yo mette yon se keila. Madam na point check book li mem. Ek madam na write li on check come a million. Ek e di mi cash li. Are you there with me? It doesn't matter what you have on this earth. One of these days you must left everything behind. And the only thing that will determine is your relationship with God. Your relationship with God. And the works. Somebody say works. The word works there means what you do. If you do good works, you will be rewarded. Eh? You don't say good work like not to say fair. Say fair charity. You don't say plea bell to avail like no affair. Say surrender and vive by bon Dieu. Are you there with me? The Bible say the works do follow them. By the way, Joyce, Sister Joyce, in the land and Kawe, they be from the time they see her. Man, you can move. Adi. It's on me. And you look here, I'm going to point to the loud point. My mom did a fair press to the bag I come here. Are you there with me? We have the trait of our parents. Are you there with me? So I now understand. And guess what? I know that you will miss your mother. I know that for the grandchildren, they will miss her. But heaven gain her. Are you there with me? Comfort yourself. She is not lost. And one of these days, you'll be reunited with her again. There can never be another mother. There might be another father. You're the actual man's son, the papa. Sabwe, you're the father. You're the father. You're the father. Daddy, um, uncle, I have two fathers. So, la peni de papa, me on sell mama, me tansa, mon dieu di pa bouz wen pe, 
I take care of you. Are you there with me? Blessed are they who die in the Lord. Save the spirit. Not the pastor, not John. Save the spirit. And hear what he declare. From then forth, they shall find rest for their labor. And their works will follow them. Sous son gage, l'homme au cas mort congagé. Somebody say amen. Sous son Christian, nous cas mort con. Alléluia. Ça vous fait. Un pile mon quoi, pasteur, ça fait magic. Pasteur, dis bon bah y'a bout de ces mains. Even si moi dis bon, qui ça ça fait? Ça pas rien comment? Hello, my dear friend. Let me be for years ago. Like some of us are in our country, you barely move on the pulpit. We don't talk about bad things about the same way. Even if we say bad things, eh? Who can make a change? Because that you planted, that you shine, the moon that has made you famous, and no pieces pass out. But the judgment, the good Dieu point record. He said, "Hey." Thomas and Bolis. More of you need to engage. La, on s'engage. What you saw is what you. Do you know God is taking record? Hello, of your life. May I say to you as we close, we don't need to say much. I one would like us to know. Make it right with. God. It doesn't matter how you started. Make sure you end it. Hey, please. And Shimon Quest is 70 years you can live. And Tansa and Noka Vivla. Pa SP low 70 years. La Moka Vini anytime. Hey, by the way, New Year Sala. La Moka Sam Fashe. Alane Nefla Moyon ni Rit La let him up Are you there with me? But the opportunity is yours. If you want to see our own again, make it right with Pastor. How can I make it right? By surrendering your life to the Lord. I speak to the family. Take strength. Unite you all safe together. Your sister is not lost. And one of these good days, you will see her again. She will be able to identify you. Hey, hey, James Sumute. Heaven have fun, you know. Are you there with me? And I pray God for those who do not know you as Lord and personal Savior. Your sister is not lost. Come. What name? PJ584. PJ584. You're obstructing traffic somehow. PJ584. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. The message is gone. Today as we close, you are here. There is coming a day where we all have to say goodbye. If you want to see our own again, one thing I want to tell me, make an altar call. You say, Pastor, before you leave, this is the beginning of the new year. I want to change my life. I want to become a Christian. Raise your hands. I will help you in this process. Don't be afraid. By the way, you must do it one of these days. Huh? Kings, prime ministers, lawyers, they all must bow before the Lord. Better you do it now. Are you there with me? Pastors. Oh yes. Engineers. All of them must bow. The Bible says there are coming a time when every knee must bow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is to the glory of God the Father. You want to do it this day? Just raise your hands. I will see that hand. Beautiful. It's just a few, but that's okay. I want everybody to please stand. Stand with me here. Hallelujah. I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Father in heaven, I thank you for your son. 
Jesus Christ who died on the cross to save me from my sins. Lord Jesus, today I invite you into my life. Come into my life. Come in to stay. Wash me with your precious blood. Write my name in the book of life and help me Lord Jesus that I may live for you the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Lord, I stretch my hands for all genuinely from the heart that they desire to accept you as Lord and Savior. I pray that you, Lord God, place your seal upon them. The Bible said, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. In the name of Jesus, give them the assurance of salvation. And even this new year, help them that they may walk with you. We bless them now in the name name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and everybody say Amen. Amen. Have your seats everybody please. Glory be to Jesus. Right at this time we have the signing of register. I call on the four witnesses. Joyce Lynn George, Dorothy Charles, Colinius Raphael, Diana Emmanuel. And also there's a rendition by Great Works International Worshippers.
Praise the Lord. Sister Joycelyn, um, there's special request for the song that you sing. Somebody's requesting that you sing this song over again if you can. Can you come up? Pray that God give you double strength. with your assurance 
Sister Joycelyn, thank God for the strength that he has given you to do this. Right at this time, I call on Sister Judith Harrow with the vote of thanks. I pray for the family. I pray for the family. You miss it? Oh, it's not there. Yeah, it would be wise. Just before the vote of thanks, we would like to pray for the immediate family. If you could just come over, form a semicircle around the casket. We are praying that God will strengthen every one of you. And that God will unite all of you together. Together with daddy. Yes, nieces, nephews, sisters, brothers, you are a large family. We pray that the Lord will be with you all at this time. I would like everyone who in the congregation to please stand. And stretch your hands to the Raphael, towards the Raphael family. And let us pray. Oh Father, we thank you that you do all things well. We thank you for our dear sister Awun. We thank you God for her contribution on earth. The many fond memories that we have about her. The life that she lived together with her siblings. We will always remember her. Lord, but today we are not praying for her. The Bible said the dead know nothing. We are praying for the living. We are praying for the family members. We are praying for the daughter. We are praying for the father. We are praying 
praying for the siblings God we come before you today we pray that you will strengthen our dear sister the daughter even at this moment lay your hands upon her let her know God that you were with her and you have made a promise to her when she's low in spirit you were with her always in the name of Jesus strengthen her at this time oh God we pray for the father we pray for the siblings oh God we pray for the extended family we pray for every one of them that you will cause that the death of our womb will unite them together even further in the name of Jesus lay your hands upon them and may you strengthen them I pray for the added grace added grace upon their life in the name of Jesus I pray for the weeks and even months and years to come you have made a promise to the family I will never leave you nor forsake you and so I pray God Holy Spirit the paraclete will bring comfort to their heart wherever they are hurting Lord I pray that you will heal them rub them in your arms rub them in your arms and may you keep them give them the strength and the grace that even as we move and go to the burial ground that they will be strong enough to bury the loved ones I bless them now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen and Amen Everybody clap your hand for the Lord Afterwards everybody take your belongings We have the vote of thanks at this time Protocol has been established. Good afternoon to all. Cause Sao Bai. Every time she would pass by me, that's how she would call me. Many times, if Thelma and myself together, we would wonder who she calling, because that was Thelma first named by her cause and after it was introduced to me cause sao bai i will always miss you my dear cause today we say goodbye to our dearest verona Setut. it was a sudden and tragic death and i must admit that the emotional support to which the family received was just overwhelming because of circumstances, it is not possible to name everybody who supported us during this difficult moment. However, the family would like to express gratitude to every single individual. Funerals are difficult, but we need to say goodbye and reflect on the time which Verona spent with us. Sincere thanks to Pastor John Joseph and his congregation for providing the necessary assistance to make this day possible, as well as Pastor Benedict Estefan and the worship team from the Boadin Apostolic Faith Church. We say thank you to our musicians. Also, thank you to Greater Works International Worship for their contribution. Thanks to all of you for coming to support us in our time of grief. Your presence is appreciated and has made this experience a little less difficult. To those who sent Facebook messages, emails, WhatsApp messages, and cards, thank you so much for your touching messages. Your words comforted our spirit and spoke straight to our heart. In one of the most challenging times we have ever gone through, much appreciation to you. I just special thank you to Mrs. Macrina Modest with her creative hands on those flowers. 
Thank you for the food you bought. Thank you for the monetary contribution you made. Thank you for any other effort that you made to assist the family during this difficult time. To those of you who prayed for us and offered emotional support, we say thank you. Special thanks to 911 platform for the life coverage of this celebration of life. Those of us who loved Verona will continue to live with the ache of her passing. But God promised he will never leave you nor forsake you. For his strength is made perfect in time of weakness. As you know so well, the passage of time never really heals the tragic memory of such a great loss. But we carry on because we have to. Because our loved ones want us to do so. And because there is still light to guide us in the world from the love he gave us. Your support was greatly appreciated by the family. And indeed, I say to you, thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Mrs. Harrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God. We have reached to the end of our celebration service. Shall we all stand at this time? I encourage you, those of you that has come together to celebrate with us, can you just give us a little time? Allow the family member to walk out first, show a little respect. So I call on the family member right now to come and lead the casket out. Where are we going to sing this song? Steal.
and sky I have heard my peace I will make their darkness bright Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord Is it I will break their hearts of stone Give them hearts for love alone I will speak my word to them Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord
I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save.
I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save.
I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save.
I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save.
I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save.
I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save.
Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. 
Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Hail of salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, walking in love. This is my story, this is my song, raising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior, happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song, raising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay friends, we are gathered here to the resting place of the body of our beloved sister, Verona Setu, whose spirit is already with the Lord. While this part of earth will hold the form of one whose memory we will always treasure, we look not here in sorrows as those who have no hope. We believe to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, and to die is gain. We therefore commit the body of our sister to the ground in the renewing and fresh hope of the soon coming of Christ, at whose appearing the dead in Christ shall rise, and we who are alive and remain shall be called up together to meet the Lord in the air, and thus shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore we comfort one another with these words. Hear the comforting words of Scripture. The Lord gives, the Lord taketh away, blessed be the name of the Lord. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We now commit the body of our sister Verona said to, to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Thus you came, Verona, and thus you must return. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away, blessed be. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive And is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father and our God, we stand here as family members, friends of the family, the deceased. We are here, God, and we are showing our last respect. We thank you that you do have all things well. Even at this time, we pray, God, that the scripture that you have given, that you are with us until the end, it will be applicable to the family. Strengthen them at this time. We mark this part of earth until the day where Verona will rise again. And so until then, we pray that your spirit will be with the family, the daughter, the father, the siblings, God. Strengthen them at this time, even as we bless them now. 
in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and everybody say, Amen. Amen. Okay. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Verona. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Farewell. Farewell till we meet. Till we meet.
Dallas. <laughs> So like close it, close it, you went from the side. Hey, Jerry, what's the name? 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 H
Watch it, watch it, watch it. They coming through, they coming through. Watch it, watch it. Coming through. Make sure like you don't drop the bag in here. Marcus, to put your hammer in your bag. Marcus, the naughty bag. Put your thing. Put the thing inside your bag. Just throw with everything. Yeah, not the chow, sorry, not the chow. Look. I don't know what it is. This one. It's not for the world. So we are left people, yeah, I just drop it off. Okay, viewers, so the family would like to say a special thank you to everyone who came out and made an, eff an effort to support them in whatever way possible during these trying times. The family appreciates your support to all those who called, all those who sent well wishes. The family is grateful. And also to our online viewers, thank you for your continuous love and support. May the Lord continue to bless you all and hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. One love to the max.